Hello guys hope you are having a fantastic day. In this video I will be showing you a fast and easy method to make your desktop look clean and aesthetic. You also should know, this will not reduce your gaming performance but it is advisable to have more than 4 GB of RAM for the best experience. Everything you will need is provided in the link in description. Alright let's get started. For the first step, we are going to arrange our desktop icons. Make sure you align your desktop icons to grid so they can all be in symmetry. It will be easier to remove all your desktop icons and replace them later as we enter the next step which is getting a clean wallpaper for your desktop. Join our Discord server for free wallpapers provided by me. Now everything looks more personalized. Click the download link in the description to download the file we will use in this video. In this video we will also need a free software known as Rain Meter. You can download that by just easily searching for Rain Meter on Google and you should be able to find a download link on their official website. Alright once we got that done, we are ready to move to the next step which is installing Rain Meter. As you can see I have installed Rain Meter, and I had uninstalled Rain Meter to make this video so you can see my saved desktop arrangement was loaded while restoring the software. So now open the folder Rain Meter skins and install all the skins provided. Alright we have loaded our skins and now it is time to arrange them, so it's left for you to use your imaginations to get what you want. Alright I literally just rearranged the skins again. So now after arranging our desktop, let us change our folder icons to the custom icon I provided in the folder named folder icon in the package. After we have changed our folder icon, there is a slight modification to perfect these skins to look more attractive. We are going to make the skins 50% transparent. After that we are going to add a fade in effect anytime we hover on the skins, just follow me. And also, keep any of your custom icons in a folder where you will not delete them, because once the icon is deleted, the default icon of the folder will replace it. Now we are pretty much done with this, if this video was helpful to you drop a like and also consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this, see you in the next one, peace.